So with the 2024 presidential election right around the corner, there's a lot of things we need to discuss right off the bat. First of all, we need to start limiting the ages of these said people that are running for office. Let's say around 65. So between the ages of 35 and 65, you can run for president. And this is due to the fact that while people over the age of 65 start to tend to lose more of their memory, they become less insightful. And of course, I'm sorry, but at those ages, you tend to the majority of you don't really understand where we are headed as a society or what we need to do to improve our society for the future, such as AI and autonomous robotics in general, because these are the things of the future. And we really don't seem to have anybody in politics that grasp this. Meanwhile, everybody is more focused on fighting their opposition. So left is against right, right is against left, far left is far right and vice versa. And this is the way that the news and media and politicians pivot you all against each other. So you don't come to the conclusion that these are the real problems with our society. Society. Number one, again, the age limit. We have politicians having strokes in interviews, a lady having a heart attack. It's just ridiculous. It's way too old. Let's just put the cutoff around 65 and put a stipulation or a clause in that basically states if you're elected at 64, 65, you can still run for your second term, which of course would push you to the age of 69. Yeah, I like that. So <laughs> with that in mind, one of the major things I would do as a president, if I was president of the United States, that would correct this country, and no politician is going to do this, but the, what you really need is somebody who's going to create basically a round table in the Oval Office. You need to have a consult, right, of some of the most intelligent minds in the United States that understand where we are heading as a society and what we need to do to get there and how to correct certain things, being for the fact that, number one, we are headed into a future, we, whether you like it or not, we are headed into a future where all jobs will be ran autonomously and based on robotics and AI, okay? And if you do not have a heavy background in autonomous robotics or AI, you are not going to have a job when you get older. Plain and simple. There's no way around it. As a matter of fact, right now, we've already began firing people to create fully autonomous fast food restaurants, drive throughs Denny's even has robots. We're going to get rid of all of the rig drivers here pretty soon. Tesla's making their semis autonomous and giving you two Optimus robots to load and unload everything on that rig. So it's becoming pretty much crucial to the point that you understand software engineering, hardware engineering, AI, robotics to some degree. But what we really need is this consultation table, a table of consults of the smartest minds such as Elon Musk and a few others in order to consult on how we should correct this country and the things we need to implement along the way to sustain our future and a future to where money is brought down, okay, to where it's not risked or utilized as much as it is today. We will still need money to some degree, otherwise everybody will just start ripping and stealing everybody's stuff. No companies will profit anything. Money has to exist to some degree, okay? But we can bring certain things down. We can make things easier. We can make life better, okay? In many ways, utilizing AI and robotics. And one way that you really need and thing you need in order to do this is this consult table. You need, again, one of the people I'm going to name right off the bat is Elon Musk. Whether you like it or not, this is a factual piece of statement that I'm giving you right now. He is one of the most well-rounded minds in order to understand and grasp where we are headed as a society and what we need to do as a country to get us there, okay? And these are some of the things we need. We don't need him as president, but we need him as part of a consult table along with maybe three or four other people made up of this consult table in order to fix this economy. And I'm telling you, the first person who gets into that White House and builds a structure like that will fix this entire country within four years and bring it to a point that most people will be able to live perfectly off of their income. And no, I'm not talking about entry-level jobs, stepping stone jobs like flipping burgers. I'm sorry, you will never be able to afford a lifestyle doing that. And thinking so, somebody severely did not educate you on life in general or any type of financial situations. You use that as a stepping stone to a better job or you up your position in that said company. But being that, it is going the way of autonomous robotics and auton autonomous right throughout the entire drive through process, there is no future in those jobs. Because it's exactly as I said years ago, if you beg for more money, it is not coming from corporate. It comes from the individual franchisee. And I literally stated the value and prices of those said products will go up. They will also get rid of you based on robotics and AI. And that's exactly what happened. Meanwhile, everybody stole that won't happen because these people have no clue what they're talking about. That's why they're in the position they are in. This is why the country is in the position we are in because nobody has the foresight to actually create something utilizing critical thinking for something to this magnitude that would actually fix this country. I'm sorry, Biden is not going to fix this country. 
Trump is not going to fix this country. However, a president who can understand and comprehend the future of our society and where we need to go and how to get there by creating a round consultant table and putting the most intelligent minds in our country on that said table will not only fix this country, but bring us to a better tomorrow.